Winds combined with another round of rain made for a miserable start to the day for many people. And News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live with that. John, you've been all over the area today. Yeah, we've seen a lot of everything that Chris is talking about in the First Alert Weather Center, including a tree down now on the train tracks in Carpinteria from that weather system. It's kind of calm out here on Stearns Wharf, but we had wind this morning that was very fierce and then power off and on. It was a messy start to the day and we've been in it since dawn this morning. Let's take a look at the day as it started for many people with powerful wind gusts. The latest weather system uprooted many trees as we've been talking about, including one on Shoreline Park where a bench was twisted up in the branches right by the ocean bluffs. And if you recognize the location, it's right next to the area where those two giant eucalyptus trees came down last month at Carpinteria's Tomal Park off of Linden Avenue. What a close call. A large eucalyptus tree came slamming down. No one was hurt, but this area is very well traveled by adults and children. The big show was certainly at the waterfront this morning at high tide. Giant waves pounding the harbor entrance and the seawall just like it did in January and during other storms since then. Well, we talked to people on the scene who got into it and we got into it as well. I've never seen anything like it. They're crazy. One of them went as high as one of the flagpoles. I saw a young boy walk out there. He stood in all the splashing. He came back, he was completely soaked. For those walking along the breakwater wall, it's very dicey to get in and out of this area without getting splashed with all the breakers smashing against the wall. Yeah, I just feel lucky to be at Santa Barbara. Like it cleared up and I could just walk out here and uh, get a little dose of adrenaline from, uh, from the Pacific Ocean that we're all grateful for. We checked creeks throughout the area to see how they were holding up, and they were holding up. This is the Tascadero Creek in Goleta. It was gushing in the last storm, but today holding up very well, heading to Goleta Beach where it meets other creeks like Las Vegas Creek, San Jose Creek, all by the airport. Santa Barbara, the section of Mission Creek that overflowed in January, held its banks too. Residents here are watching closely and are nervous, as you can only expect during these storms. And watch your step at Butterfly Beach. One of the beach entrances, there's a concrete slab at the bottom of the steps that's broken apart. And over at City College in the Lower Mesa area, it was lights out from a tree that came down, ripping out power and utility lines. Students and teachers were sent a message to work remotely if they could. The campus was empty. We checked it out. The Mesa was dark for hours. Short time ago, there were still multiple utility crews on the scene on Loma Alta trying to string everything back together that came apart and hook everybody back up before the sun, wherever it is, goes down tonight. And now we are certainly put to the test with more weather coming tonight. We are at full saturation in our hills and some serious concerns now with this very unsettling weather system. Reporting live at the edge of Stearns Wharf this evening, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. All right, John, thank you so much. You know, John probably had an hour of sleep last I know. night. I hope he gets a lot more tonight. Thank, thank you, John. John. And now we go to News Channel's Dave Alley in Royal Grande, who's probably had maybe four hours of sleep. John, Dave. <laughs> and Dave, how are things looking up there? Well, and I'm sure John got a little bit less sleep than me, certainly. Uh, well, it's raining right now here in Arroyo Grande uh, and the Five Cities area. Boy, it has uh, certainly endured yet another round of 